I do have a sense both from colleagues who are covering it and the background of our reporting. The reality is guys are going to keep using if they want to keep using. The drugs are out there. They work. And, you know, the cheaters are always ahead of the testers. It's true that for to be able to detect that specific drug, they needed to be able to find out about it to be able to do it. But, you know, there's a panel of drugs that they're testing for. And the range of those and the impact of those is, can be found at the same time. You know, there's still no great testing for human growth hormone without blood testing. I'm pretty cynical about this. I knew why they did it, but I always laughed when baseball talked about its steroid era as if it was this defined period in time yeah. that was over once Balco hit, right? They've certainly, though, learned to be cool about it. We were hearing stories before steroids were banned in baseball. There were guys who didn't want to slide because they had their syringes in their hip pocket, ball players. I mean, it was like, it was pretty out there. Jose Canseco stuff, you know.